this. I'm. And so it's weird. I'm not doing that tonight. I still wonder how. so looking forward to this vlog we're starting it off on a little errand run and so i will share about that in a sec but i'm going to be vlogging for the next couple of days it is tuesday when i'm starting this vlog we have a lot going on in the next couple of days so i thought it'd be fun just to bring you guys along sorry the lighting is a little bit weird i'm gonna get my newly order in so i will share a try on haul of that i am running some errands today and just getting some work done it's gonna be a fun next couple of days but to start i am actually at ikea right now and i love a good ikea run especially when it's right when it opens on a weekday it's not that crowded and i have a very specific item that i'm picking up and that is these paper lanterns that ikea sells that are basically star shapes for christmas i've been wanting these after seeing them on instagram i've been seeing them on my instagram reels and i'm trying to plan out my decor that i want to do this year i definitely plan on decking out our home with these paper lanterns because i just think they're so beautiful i didn't do it last year but I thought it'd be nice to do this year. So I'm gonna head in here. I'm also gonna see what else they have at Ikea, but I don't really need anything. I just think it's fun to browse. So I'll take you guys along there. And then after that, I actually need to drop off our Jeep that I'm in right now because it is getting a tune-up. It was getting repaired last week, but he recommended also getting a tune-up. So we're gonna do that too. I'll drop it off. Also wearing my favorite sweater. This one is from Free People. I've really stretched it out, which I honestly really like because it's really comfortable now. And then I'm just also wearing some dark wash Madewell jeans. I also wanna say that I'm not skipping over things thanksgiving either i definitely still love thanksgiving but because we were spending it with aiden's family this year we're doing christmas with my family thanksgiving with his it's kind of how our schedule works i like to decorate before so when we come home it's just all done and we can really celebrate and i also like to get videos for kind of getting into the holiday spirit beforehand Ikea I'll share the things that I got I was so thankful that I was able to find them the only thing was they didn't have a lot of the white ones left and to me those are definitely the prettiest because they have the cutouts and they really show the light when you actually light them up but I did find this one is a gold one which I think will be nice to switch it up and then this one is like a solid white with a gold trim on it and then I found one of the smaller ones that has the cutouts and I also have ordered some smaller ones from Amazon I just think that these are really pretty and these are also really affordable I think these are about eight dollars each or so. so I wanted to get like a little Christmas village set but I like these because they're super simple and that's why I love the Ikea decor so it definitely has that Scandinavian feel that Swedish feel to it which I know that these are really popular in other countries too these lanterns a bunch of you guys are actually responding I had someone in India she was talking about how basically everyone decorates their home with these which I just think is really cool so picked up those I also wanted to grab some light so I got this set these are stars I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put these and I also did get my receipt if I want to return anything and then these are just normal string lights so that's everything that I got again so thankful I was able to find them because apparently they're kind of difficult to find but I'm about to drop off our Jeep for the appointment which I'm a little bit nervous about I feel like I never do the car stuff so <laughs> I don't know anything about cars Aiden told me what to tell them so I feel like I'm gonna be fine I'm just doing it because he's at work today this is so random but I saw Allison share this on her Instagram story she mentioned that this full X carpet cleaner can get out basically any stain and on our carpet you probably see it i always try to avoid it because they're not cute we have these stains on the carpet and this is from one time cash threw up in our bedroom there's a spot here 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 and 
over here, but I just used it on these spots. You can kind of still see them because they're drying. It, I'm pretty sure, is getting out these stains. There's also one over here. I haven't sprayed this one yet, but I'm gonna use it on these and see if this works because these spots have always driven me crazy. And if this works, it's amazing because this is probably $20, I think, and it is doing the job. I literally feel like Cinderella right now. <laughs> I am scrubbing. I'm about to make myself some lunch and I'm also going to make pickled red onions. I've always wanted to do this. The recipe that I'm following, I'll have it down below. It just calls for doing it with apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna try it. I've always wanted to do this. I've just been lazy, but today's the day. I have a free moment, so we're gonna do it. Just sat on the ground because I'm about to do a little planning session on my laptop. I like to do this usually before the month starts. It's November 1st when I'm recording this, but I like to look at my calendar and just map things out, especially for work stuff. And also November and December just happen to be my busiest months for work and then also just for personal life stuff. And so I like to do this. It helps me feel organized and feeling a little bit jumbled right now. Go through our trip, see what needs to be planned and all that jazz. So I'm gonna do this. And while I do this, I'm gonna put on the TV one of those cozy ambiance videos. They really do set the vibe. They have like coffee shops, they have really aesthetic porches and they usually have jazz music to it. So I'm gonna find one to put on and enjoy this while I get some work done. We just picked up the Jeep again because we have to wait for the parts to come in the mail now. So we're gonna have to bring it back at the end of the week. I'm just thankful they are able to get things going. Now I'm back home and I'm gonna go get a workout in. I think I'm just gonna do a 30 minute run since it's six o'clock and I wanna start making some dinner now pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a run in. workout ended up doing 12 3 30. i was getting some side cramps and that's why i never like working out especially running in the afternoon so i just feel like i always get side cramps so it wasn't my best workout but it was still nice you don't always have to sweat a lot for it to be a good workout i also threw my hair back in a clocklet because for some reason french braids just give me a headache when i have them in too long and so i had to take that one out feels good having the hair back but I'm about to make us a meal from our every plate. I'm so thankful to be partnering with every plate on this portion of today's video. If you guys don't know what every plate is, it is a meal kit delivery service. And I know that there are so many out there, but believe me, I have made every plate for years now. And these meals are so great. They're also the most affordable meal kit delivery service, which is so great. And I feel like sometimes when I hear that, I think that the quality of the produce or the recipes just aren't going to be that great, but these are spectacular. Aiden specifically loves these recipes. He's always so excited when we get this in. Our options tonight are ginger soy glazed sweet potato tacos, saucy soy mushroom and pepper bowls. I've actually made this one before. It's really tasty. And then we also have creamy lemon herb chicken. And I think that I'm actually gonna go ahead and make the sweet potato tacos. This is call them on name tonight. I'm in a taco mood. We get the meat and the veggie kit. So you get a mix of just veggie recipes and then also recipes with meat. I feel like it's the perfect cadence I've been trying to try more veggie recipes, especially for lunches. I really like those. And so I love having more options. And I feel like a meal kit delivery service is so great for this particular season because it's crazy. November and December, it is hectic. You have events going on, the holidays, and it's just nice to know that you can still nourish your body, eat 
quality meals, but not having to go to the grocery store, meal prep, all that, which can just take so much time. So I love these recipes. You can also switch them out too. You can pick the specific recipes that you want. I'll have a link down below. You guys can try every plate for just $1.49 per meal by going to everyplate.com and entering the code Michelle149. So I'll also have that linked at the top of the description box if you want to check them out, but let's get cooking. Finish our tacos. They look amazing. Aiden is still at the gym, so I'm gonna try a little bite right now. It's always crazy to me when I set out the ingredients for these meals, because it looks like, how is this gonna be a full meal? And it's like sweet potatoes, peppers, all really whole foods, but it just comes together so nicely. I love eating a colorful dinner. But yeah, I'm gonna wait to eat the rest until he comes back. Again, if you guys wanna try every plate for just $1.49 per meal, you can go to everyplate.com and enter the code Michelle149. I'll have it linked at the top of the description box. Good morning. It is about 7.30, I believe. Yeah, 7.35 and I'm headed to the gym. I'm gonna go get a strength workout in, move these muscles a little bit. It's such a gloomy morning this morning. I definitely felt the urge to stay in bed a little bit longer, but I definitely wanna get a workout in before starting work for the day. I haven't worn this workout top in a while, but I really like it. It's from Abercrombie. I think it's super cute. I like the cutout, like the straight neck on it. I just think it's pretty with the color block. These are the Align leggings from Lululemon. These are the extra high rise. I like them because usually leggings will hit like right here on me. I just feel more comfortable when it's fully up. So I'll link these. These are my favorite. I pretty much wear these every single time I work out if I don't wear biker shorts, but let's go ahead and get a workout in. Back now for my workout. I didn't record too much because there were a lot of people down there, but I did a Sydney Cummings strength workout, which you guys know I love Sydney Cummings. But I wanted to say, if you ever want to do one of her workouts, specifically strength, the strength and conditioning ones are great if you want to do cardio and strength, but the boot camp workouts are my favorites. They're mostly just strength. They're a little bit more low impact. Sometimes, like today, there were jump squats and stuff like that, but I always really like her workouts, as you guys know. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I need to get a proper blender, but I kind of feel like a smoothie, which I don't really ever crave, but I'm craving today. So we're just gonna do some almond milk. I really like this brand, this milk one, because it just has filtered water, almonds, and sea salt. So very simple ingredients. A banana, some frozen blueberries, cinnamon, and almond butter. We're gonna keep it simple. Hopefully my little mini food processor can handle it. I never make smoothies. It's foggy out. Isn't it kind of cool when it's foggy? Yeah. You're using my AirPods. I was this morning. This why I weren't charged. I did do a little bit too much almond butter, but besides that, it's not bad. I'm in the closet, so it's a little bit dark, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear today, and I feel like as I get older, I just have no idea or concept of fashion. When I used to live in New York back in college, I just feel like I dressed so cute. I had so many just cute outfits and ideas for fashion, but as I get older and with working from home, I just dress so simply. And so I wanna get back into trying to make cute outfits again because I miss it. And I was on Instagram last night. I found this one girl. I forgot her Instagram name, but I'll put it right here. She just has the cutest but simple outfits, kind of similar to Vivian Audi. I really, really love her Instagram too. Just, they wear very simple, basic pieces, but it just looks clean and good. And so I'm really inspired to just think about fashion. I feel like my clothes right now are all just very random and I don't have a sense of style like I used to. So that's something I wanna work on, which speaking of, I'm excited because I'm about to get my newly in the mail and I will share a try on haul for that stuff. Cause hopefully that'll kind of spark what I wanna wear too. Cause it's just, I don't know, I have all of these clothes. Well, not all of these, like here. So over here are all my clothes, but I always feel like I still just don't know what to wear, which is why I always end up wearing my free people set that I love. It's just easy. Okay, it is the best time of the month because I've got my newly order in and let me just say, we have so many things because I accidentally added, I think, two extra items. Usually you get six a month. If you don't know, Newly is a clothing rental service where you get six pieces a month. 
you can keep them for the whole month and then return them and switch them out each month or you can just not continue it if you don't want to do it every single month i think it's so much fun though kind of going back to the fashion chat i was having it's so much fun to just try new styles i've never actually bought anything for my order i've always wanted to but i think it's nice to try new styles but you don't always have to be just consuming and buying new things so i'm not sponsored either you know you would think by this point that i would be sponsored but I totally just pay for the service. I like it. I do have a referral link, which is why I didn't notice I added extra items because when I was going and adding all my stuff in, I had some referral credit and my total wasn't that different than normal. So that is where I messed up. But to start off, I'm wearing this cardigan that is so cozy and honestly way too warm. It's like 75 degrees today, so this is not realistic, but I love this cardigan. I love the look of just the really chunky cardigans. I think that they're super cute, and this one's really pretty because it's like a pink and a mint green. Love this one. I think this one's from Anthropology originally, but it is so soft too. It's not scratchy. I also always like to try on the pieces because I know a lot of you guys also do newly, and it's kind of helpful if you want to rent any of these same pieces. Most of the stuff that I got are sweaters just for Thanksgiving and such. I got this skirt though. Oh, this looks so cute. I've been wanting to wear more skirts. I think skirts are so fun in this one. I thought would be so cute with like sheer tights and knee high boots, which is a style I used to do a lot more in New York that I kind of want to bring back. And I thought this was a cute mini skirt. I also got this skirt and this one is super cute as well because it's more of a midi style, but it goes longer on the sides. And I really liked the pattern on this. I tried to pick a lot of kind of Thanksgiving hues, a lot of just fall tones. And this one looked fun again with like some heels or something. I got this sweater. I've eyed this one for a while on the website, but it is a turtleneck sweater, but it's so fun because it has this cutout on the top, but not to the point where it exposes your chest or anything. It's just a cute little touch and love the sleeves. I thought this one would be just nice with some jeans. Keep it simple. I really feel like I have so many items this month. I'm not sure how this happened. I usually add a bunch of stuff to my cart and then I'll go through and keep the ones that I really like, take out the ones that I don't like. And somehow I ended up adding everything, which I'm not complaining because we have a lot of options this month. This dress I actually thought would be so cute for Thanksgiving. I love kind of the maroon flowers on it. I love that it flares out. And then the back is super pretty because it's exposed. And when it comes to Newly, I like to order brands that I kind of know my size from. That's a helpful tip that I have because sometimes when you're renting from random brands, it's hard to know what your size would be. And so free people is really easy for me because I tend to know I'm an extra small or a small in most items. We have this sweater, which I thought this one would be so fun too for fall and Thanksgiving. How? cute is this one i love this one even christmas too i feel like this is kind of a christmas sweater too i love that and then this one i've been wanting to get just like a cream cropped sweater to wear with skirts and so i thought that this one was really pretty and also this would be nice as almost like a cover-up if you're going to the beach in like the winter time i feel like this would be really cute love that and then lastly again just a lot of sweaters this month because we are traveling for thanksgiving and so i wanted to have some layers for that but I thought that this one would be pretty. Really like how kind of simple it is. This is a random brand, BB Dakota. I've never tried them, but I think that that was really sweet. So those are all the things that I got this month. Again, I'll have newly linked down below. I think my referral credit gets you $10 off your first month. So definitely check it out. Change into something a little bit comfier because after my hair appointment, I'm just gonna go straight to the football game. And so I'm wearing this exercise dress. This is from Brandy Melville and it's my favorite one because it's like a cotton material and less of a spandex material. I really like it though. And then this flannel is actually Aiden's. I think I got him this one for Christmas last year, but just paired it with that. And then of course my same high top Converse that I wear all the time. now i typically don't vlog while i drive it's something that i try not to do but i am in basically standstill traffic and i have about an hour drive so i just wanted to update you guys that got my hair cut i just got 
probably a half inch off. I got it trimmed from Allie. I see her, she just opened up her new spot. It's called the Dallas Blonde. If you're in the Dallas area, she does a great job because I'm actually gonna try to grow out my hair. I feel like lately I've been getting more cut off than I did this time, but I was looking at old photos and I kind of missed having really, really long hair. So I'm gonna try to grow it out again. And then I also just get some like face framing layers. And this is basically completely my natural hair color now, which is crazy because if you guys know, I used to be very, very blonde. And so this is my natural color and I really like it. I definitely took some getting used to after being blonde for so long, but I really like this. I'm on my way to the football game right now. I'm definitely gonna be late because I'm in five o'clock traffic right now, but is all good i'm excited to see melissa and excited to get some concession food i'm craving a hot dog or something like that i'm definitely in the mood from the football game it was so much fun it just took a shower and while i am here by myself right now i feel like i have so much food to use because i have stuff for a recipe so i don't really want to order food and so I'm gonna attempt a recipe tonight that I've never done before. This is a half-baked harvest recipe. It's like a buffalo chicken enchilada skillet, but I realized that I forgot to get tortillas and it definitely calls for tortillas. It's not something where you can just omit the tortillas because it's literally enchiladas. And so I'm gonna try to make my own, which I've never done before. And I'm a little nervous, but I made the naan in a vlog recently and it was a success. So we're gonna attempt this. It seems like a lot of work to do for just a meal for myself. But, you know, I have the time, so we're gonna get cooking. Okay, I just finished the tortillas. They're definitely not super cute. And I would have done a better recipe if I had more time, considering it's 7.45 right now. I'm trying to make these quickly, so not too bad. but we put one of these cash what is that i'm by myself and that dog cannot be getting spooked right now we put one of these strips behind the bed and it just makes the coziest bed situation he can go up he always asks if he can go up by ass i mean he sits by the bed go on up. we also have the smart bulb so they all sync up this is the candlelight setting and it is the best at night so i have this on i'm almost done with my book so i'm going to read my in the flow book before heading to bed when Aiden's here in the evenings, this is why I literally never vlog in the bed, obviously, because it's also our bed. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. We always end up like talking in bed for probably 30 minutes before we go to sleep every night. And so it's weird I'm not doing that tonight. I definitely miss him, but I'm probably just gonna read and then head on to bed. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I felt like we got to do a lot. I'm so looking forward to just the holiday season coming. I'm definitely really excited to start planning some stuff and obviously for Thanksgiving coming up soon. You guys just mean so much to me. I always say that and always very grateful for you guys. If you guys wanna try out EveryPlate, again, you can use the link down below. You can visit everyplate.com and enter the code Michelle149 to get each meal for $1.49. Just wanted to remind you guys, cause we love EveryPlate and we also love you. And catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> it's all good, cause I found the best of myself.